So many aviators within the UK will know of an airline called Flybe, and the journey of Flybe has been hitting the headlines for quite some time now. There was a point where the future of the Exeter airline was seriously in doubt, with potential buyers rising from British Airways, IAG, and even Aer Lingus at one point. But it seems like this whole discussion regarding the future of the airline has been finally resolved and there is light at the end of the tunnel, because the airline has been purchased by three companies, Virgin Atlantic, Stobart Aviation and Cyprus Capital. Now these three companies have formed a consortium, or shall I say an association, and Connect Airways will be the main shareholder in the company. Flybe will cease to exist and the company will be rebranded as Virgin Atlantic. But the reason why the small airline was suffering so much in these past few years is down to four main reasons. The first main reason is down to Brexit. The risk associated with Brexit and what regulation will look like for the aviation industry is quite worrying for a lot of British airlines. Additional tariffs and visas may be incurred and air passenger duty continues to concern airlines, especially Flybe which has a lot of routes and partnerships with other airlines in mainland Europe. The second reason is down to the cost of fuel and the impact of the dollar. The airline buys its fuel in dollars and the average market price in US dollar was up 20% at $560. With the rising cost of fuel, if the airline doesn't have their finances in check, then it can spiral out of hand. The third reason is down to the cost of their planes. Flybe has been reducing the number of planes in their fleet just so that they can run at peak profitability. They need to make sure that their planes are utilised efficiently and they've also cancelled some of their unprofitable routes. We know that aviation is heavily regulated and the airline spends a lot of money on maintenance. And the final reason is due to the fact that Flybe is a small airline. It may be one of the region's biggest players, but it's still small compared to EasyJet, Ryanair and even British Airways. So for example, it will cost the same to pay for things like maintenance for 200 planes as it would for 80. But while operating in legal and financial terms of a totally independent company, the effective day-to-day -day running of the airline will eventually blend in with the rest of Virgin Atlantic. This will be a great opportunity for Virgin because it will provide regional UK and Irish connectivity to the airline's main hubs at Heathrow, Gatwick and also Manchester. It will also give them the opportunity to expand into Europe to link their long-haul operations in the EU. In terms of the consumers like us, well, Virgin's Flying Club point scheme will also be available, and the purchase by Air France KLM of shares in Virgin Atlantic as part of the new venture with Delta will tie the regional airline into existing routes to Paris, Amsterdam, Milan and etc. Another key aspect is the eventual completion of the third runway at Heathrow, which is largely expected to be devoted to short-haul and UK domestic airlines, leaving the other two runways for larger aircraft. This will increase the capacity and also provide better links for the long-haul arm of Virgin Atlantic. In terms of whether the airline will receive new planes, well, there's no hints in regards to this, and we can assume that Flybe will be continuing to return to Embraer jets and standardise around the Bombardier Q400 aircraft. Future aircraft orders will depend on the path Virgin Atlantic and their partners will take with the new airline, and it is possible Airbus or Boeing jets could be welcomed into their fleet. So captains, that's the news from Flybe. It's great to see that the dust has settled and jobs have been secured for the small airline. There was a point where the future of the airline was seriously in doubt, but it's turned out to be all good in the end. If you have any thoughts or opinions to share with us, then by all means write them in the comments below. That's all there is for me at this moment in time. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon.